Hey guys, welcome back. I know a lot of you guys stumbled across my channel through this video. And I think it's time we do a little revisit because there's a lot of things I could do differently this time around. If you haven't guessed by now, what we're doing today, we're carving a stone sink. <laughs> that works. And if you haven't seen the original video, I suggest you watch. I'll put a link in the description box below or you can click up in the corner here to go see those videos. But I've got a few more tools I've added to the lineup so we can do a little bit better of a job this time around and hopefully we can get it done in around four hours. So we're gonna put the clock on, start carving out this stone sink. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it and give you step-by-step -step instructions along the way so that if you feel so inclined, you can go grab yourself a boulder and carve one yourself get to work. So the first step of the process is to kind of find out which way you want your stone oriented. So I'm thinking the flat surface on this stone is going to be kind of the edge of my sink right here because it's kind of flat on this top and the bottom is a bit round but we want it to sit flat on the countertop. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this inside where outside out of the sunlight because I'm going to use a laser level and you know that laser levels don't work in bright sunlight so I'm going to roll this into my shop on the dolly. I'm going to lay this flat down onto the ground, upside down, and then I'm going to use my laser level to shoot a laser line onto the stone base so that I have a kind of a flat reference mark of, of where a flat surface is going to be, and then we'll cut it out from there so that we have a flat bottom to rest this thing down on while we carve out the sink. Okay, let's do it. Once you've got your freaking laser beam where you want it, uh, just take a jiffy marker or a sharpie or whatever. Follow that line. All right, so now I've got a black reference mark all the way around. Take this back outside, and we're going to start making cuts with the gas axe, chipping this off flat. Right after being berated in the comment section on my last stone sink video by all the safety sallies. Uh, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to wear safety goggles and a respirator because I don't want to die of a cancer. All right, so I kind of jumped the gun there and I drew a line with a crappy marker on a dirty rock and once the water hit it, it disappeared. So I power washed it. Redid the line with a better jiffy marker. Hopefully this won't uh, wash away as I'm cutting it and I'll be able to see. Take two. Alright, so I've roughed this down to my line. Everything looks pretty good. I kind of eyeball flattened it with this uh, little cup flat grinding disc. I don't know what the hell it's called, but it's for grinding flat surfaces. And I just take a piece of MDF, which is always going to be really flat, put that on there. You can see the sawdust is rubbed off on my high spots. Now I'm just going to hit those down. We're already within a sixteenth, so pretty dang good. Hey, right, let's get the knife.
So this is the point of the project where you're like thinking to yourself, what the heck have I got myself into? Because there's still a lot of work to do to get this smooth, but you just gotta keep telling yourself, I'm carving a stone sink, Ugh! and then just keep at it. So we're into it about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours now, and we're close to getting this thing ground out. So now I've switched to this flat diamond blade here. This is gonna allow me to kind of grind out those inside surfaces. Now last time I just used one of these flat cutting diamond blades, just kind of used the side of it. It worked okay, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna do a much better job. Well, we've got her all carved out. I would say that this one is probably carved out as large as the other sink that I made was the whole stone. So we got a much bigger sink, it's deeper. This diamond bit that I used here, the, the flat surfacing bit, worked beautifully and actually kind of left an even smoother uh, finish to work with here. So this is where I kind of left off on the other one because I didn't have any other tools to smooth it out anymore or polish it up. And it's been about four hours, just over four hours. And the sink is pretty much ready. All we gotta do is drill the hole for the drain, drill that out, put a drain assembly in, and this thing's ready to go. But I bought some, some stone polishing pads here, and a little Velcro pad that go on my angle grinder. So I'm gonna try polishing this out a little bit more and see what she looks like. All right, so I just cut off the back section of this rock because in this situation, I think I'm gonna, this one's pretty deep. I'm gonna put it up against the wall, the backsplash from the countertop. So it'll go tight up against the wall. That way you don't have to try and clean behind a big rock sink, which could probably be annoying. The next step is putting the drain in. So this is just a stock chrome plated drain that I got from a plumbing wholesaler. I think it was about 40 bucks. And then I got a little bit of plumber's putty as well that I'm gonna set the drain in underneath the flange once I have it all carved out. So I'm just putting the drain upside down, lowest point on the sink. Now I'm just gonna trace it out. Once I got it traced out, my center point there. And then I got this uh, inch and a half diamond hole saw bit from the uh, tool store, I think it was about 60 bucks for the, for the 30 for the mandrel and 30 for the, the diamond bit. And it's got a carbide tip on it that says it can drill through concrete and cast iron and stuff. We'll see if it can drill through stone here pretty quick. So I'm just putting a quarter inch little SDS hammer drill bit here. That's, this will go through the stone, no problem.
All right, so now that we've got the uh, drain traced on there, I'm just gonna use the bit itself, the diamond drill bit, to countersink the flange around the edge here. It takes a little bit of hand-eye coordination, but it's not too tricky. You just get the thing spinning and... All right, guys, that's how far we got. The sink took, uh, the drain took about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half to get all fitted in there, plus about four and a half hours to grind this all out, cut the back off. So all in all, you're gonna be looking at about a solid day's work to get this all in, as long as you don't uh, have to go back and recut anything. Uh, make sure you do it extra deep. The last one I did was a little too shallow and it splashed out a lot. Tools that you're going to need to get this done efficiently, you're going to need a hammer drill as well as a drill with a diamond bit. This little uh, cheap, cheapo one, it was like 25, 30 bucks for this bit. It wore out just after I ground this hole out. So it's enough to do one sink, the cheap bit. I recommend maybe getting a more heavy duty inch and a half diamond bit from a diamond or a plumbing wholesaler. They'll usually stock really high quality diamond bits. You're gonna pay a little bit more though, probably like 75 bucks, 80 bucks Canadian, something like that. This diamond flattening stone here, it's kind of like a cup shaped stone with the diamond uh, teeth on the bottom edge. That's an absolute must have. So make sure you get one of these. I think they're about 70 bucks, depending on what brand you get and saves you so much time and can remove a lot of material, leaves an okay finish. Still get that kind of diamond sawn finish. Another thing I did, I tried getting some stone buffing wheels some, with all different grits here. This whole package cost about $140 Canadian and I thought it would allow me to polish out the inside of the sink really well. And it starts at 50 grit, but even then, uh, 50 grit is not enough to sand out the diamond marks. Um, as much as I tried to smooth a nice finish with the diamond blade, it still leaves some pretty heavy scratches and the 50 grit kind of polishes it out, but you still see a little bit of the scratches. They're just really deep. So unless I would have gone and gotten a bunch more 50 grit pads and just kept sanding, kept sanding, kept sanding, they were pretty expensive. They're like 15 bucks a pad. And I was just like, forget it. So I kind of got it half buffed at 50 grit and I think that looks fine to me. I like the texture of the rock. I like the finish. It looks good. And I'm gonna put a clear acrylic sealer on here anyways. I've got some leftover driveway sealer from my bricks. I'm gonna paint that on the inside here and that'll seal where this little crack is. I didn't even see that crack until I started carving it. But it doesn't go all the way through. It's just kind of right here. And once I put the sealer in there, it'll fill up that crack. And seal it. So that's up to you whether or not you want to seal your stone or just leave it leave it plain. You're not going to have any issues as long as you're using a really hard stone like granite or something like that. Water's not going to leak through the stone. A lot of people are paranoid about water penetration and erosion and all that sort of stuff. You don't need to worry about that as long as you're using a hard stone like granite. So if you learned some stuff in this video, you guys, please give it a like, share it with your friends. I hope you, uh, you've got the confidence to go and maybe try something out like this. You, you can rent these big gas axe saws for the day and they're usually like 60 bucks to rent. And hopefully you have some of the other tools on hand. It's a really fun project. It's not the cheapest project, but to be able to say you carved your own stone sink is pretty badass. So if you're the do-it-yourself type, time to kick it up a notch, carve your own stone sink. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed, subscribe because we're having a great time. And those of you who want to have a say in what I build next, just click on this little button up in the corner here. I've got, I've got four projects that I'm looking to get going on, so click which one you want me to get started on next, and we'll see you in the next video. Samurai out.